It's time for Tales of Terror, only on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. Tonight's episode, Death by Zombie. Morning, Bruce. Come on in. You'll never guess what I found in my backyard this morning. What? A blade of grass poking up through all the weeds? Very funny. Just because I'm not a lawn fanatic like you. Yeah, yeah. So what did you find? Oh, yeah. A dead body. What? You're shitting me. No way, man. A real live, well, dead body. A guy. You're trying to pull a fast one. No, really. Hang on. I took a picture. Holy crap. You really do have a body in your backyard. I told you. Man, I bet that set Angelique around the bend. Nah. She went to spend the weekend with her mother. Did you call the cops? Are you nuts? Of course I called the cops. You think I want some dead guy cluttering up my backyard? It's not like he'd stand out with all the engine blocks and junk frames you've got out there. Oh, you are hilarious. Ha ha ha. Where'd he come from? How the hell should I know? He wasn't there when I went to bed last night. Then when I stumbled out to have my coffee on the back porch this morning, there he was. You want to talk about an early morning eye opener? Try finding a dead guy first thing. Got my heart started, I'll tell you that. Are you sure he's dead? He looks dead. You mean you didn't check? What do I look like, a doctor? You're just scared to touch the guy. I am not. Suppose he had some contagious disease or something. You are. You're afraid to touch the nasty old dead guy. Listen, you. I had to break your nose for that. Hey, coming over. You'll see he's dead. Okay, let's go. See? Dead guy. Hey, suppose the guy ain't dead. You called in a dead body. In a couple of minutes, you're gonna have the fire department, an ambulance, and about a hundred police cars in the front of your house. What if the guy's just sleeping off a bender? So, what if he is? If he is, you're gonna look like a real dummy calling out all those people over a drunk. I suppose you're right. I guess I better check. Ooh, he's dead all right. How can you tell? What are you, blind? I touched his neck. You know, looking for a pulse? You find one? No. And his neck was all cold and squishy-like. Almost slimy. What was that? It came from the dead guy. He's moving. He's getting up. We better get inside. (laughs) He's still coming. Holy crap. Time to get out of here. He's a freaking zombie, man. (laughs) Crap, that was close. Angie, honey, you can come out now. It's done. I need a drink. Are you sure? He's really dead, Angelique? He's not going to turn into a zombie and come after me, is he? Don't be superstitious, my love. This is real life, not Shaun of the Dead. You've been listening to the 5-Minute Fears episode entitled Death by Zombie. Featured in tonight's cast were Drew Prophet as Larry, Jeremy Hennessy as Bruce, Mike Jansen as the zombie, and MJ Cogburn as Angelique. Death by Zombie was written and post-produced by Robert Tinsley. Music by Rodden Coyle. This is Shane Harris. Thank you for listening.
no one knows where he comes from. Some say he's not a man. Some say he's a force. Not of nature, but of something more primal than that. He's the acid taste of vengeance you can't quite swallow down in a town that's besieged by fear and unbreathed regret. Others say he was a man who wouldn't rest until all the pain in the world was fed back to those who minded out of others. He's only known by one name, from county to county, in the hours past dawn, and in the haze-filled air, you'll see him walking towards you if you keep secrets, if you harm folks. He's the drifter, and he won't stop till sorrow's end. A weird western series from Jeffrey Billard starring The Drifter. From Audio Groovecats and the Amigo Collective. Coming 2023 only on Mutual with Episode 1 Before a Wind. <laughs>